Hey everybody, Barry Johns here and welcome back to another episode of Studio Talk. Today we're going to talk about Avid's new plan. In case you've got a lapse plan, whether it's ultimate or native, they've got a plan to get you back on track. Let's talk about it. All right, all right. So welcome back. Um, so today, like I said in the intro, uh, Avid just came out with a new plan uh, for those who have lapsed perpetual licenses, either na the native version or the ultimate version. Uh, they've came up with a plan to get you back up to date with the most recent version of Pro Tools and all the new features. And in fairness, over the last year to year and a half, They've actually done a lot of good things in Pro Tools, and there's a lot of really great features out there and things that you can do um, that are pretty exciting for Pro Tools users. Now, for those of you that may not understand or know how Avid does their, their licensing, um, there, there's two versions of Pro Tools uh, that you can buy. You can buy a perpetual license or you can do a subscription, okay? You can do a monthly or annual subscription, but either one of those are subscription. And then you can do a perpetual license. Now, if you're not sure what perpetual is, that's like every other DAW out there. That basically means you buy it, you own it, okay? If you choose not to update it or anything like that, you own it forever and you use it where you are. If you have a subscription and you stop paying, then you lose the ability to utilize that particular DAW, whether it's Pro Tools or, or anybody else who happens to do subscription. Now, Pro Tools, is Avid is kind of on a, a desert island to a degree doing the whole subscription-based thing. They've kind of put all their eggs in a basket with this. And, and, and I think if you look around the internet and forums and, and you look at many comments on videos I've done in the past with Avid, I think the general consensus is the vast majority of users that are not on an Avid subscription absolutely they hate the idea of it and don't want to have anything to do with it. I happen to be one of those. For normal subscriptions, I think there's no value in it whatsoever. Uh, I have done an education um, subscription for it in the past, but that is a greatly reduced cost. Um, and so uh, I I'm not currently on that anymore, but that was a different story. I'm talking about retail to retail. Now, what this new program does is if you have a lapse plan, so that means, let's for example, me, you know, uh, I'm currently on Pro Tools Ultimate, the current version of it, but the reason for that is, is I recently bought a Pro Tools Carbon that came with Ultimate. Okay, and so I own a lapsed version of Pro Tools Ultimate. I think ended at 2019, somewhere in the 2019-ish range at the dot, whatever whatever it was when I, I let that lapse. And I let it lapse because I felt like I wasn't getting any value for my money whatsoever. I was very disappointed in the fact that for Ultimate, I was paying $400 every year, but not really getting anything for it. Now, Again, in fairness, they seem to have turned the curve or turned the page, however you want to look at that. And so in the last 18 months, they've actually come up with a lot of new features and stuff um, that, that are new to Pro Tools users. Albeit they've been in other DAWs for a long time, they're new to Pro Tools users, okay? So, you know, with that particular plan as an example, historically, uh, the only way I could get that plan up to date was to pay $1,000, $999 to get a lapsed ultimate plan done. I'm, I can't remember what the pricing is for native, but it's all proportion. It's, it's much less, obviously, um, to, to get that back up to date. And, and there was no way that was ever going to be compelling to me to shell out $1,000 to do that. Now, uh, sometime in the past, I don't know if at least a year, if not more ago, Avid decided to stop offering um, the reinstatement plan for lapsed licenses. You couldn't get them anymore. There are still some out there to be had. There, I looked before I did this video. There's one on eBay today from a vendor for $9.99. And, and about six to eight months ago, there were quite a few you could get for um, $5.99. There were a bunch of licenses being sold there that were just being sold off by I assume other vendors or other users who happened to purchase them in the past. And there are still a few vendors out there who have, who still have some in stock. So you can get your lapsed uh, perpetual license back up to date. You just have to find the right vendor to do that if you just want to pay out right for it, all right? Whether it's the $9.99 for Ultimate. And again, I'm not sure what the price is for Native, but you can look that up. This is not really about the pricing scheme. Rather, more so it is about the, the plan that they're offering. Now, 
The plan that they recently came out with, there has been a tremendous amount of confusion about it. it there is a threat about it on AVID's own forum at their DUC um, under Pro Tools. There's a, there's a, a forum, uh, there's a, a, a thread started out there that has a couple of pages and a ton of questions of which obviously make it very clear. It's very, very, very confusing. And it took AVID what seemed to me like a couple of weeks to finally come out and say, okay, let's give a clear explanation of this. Still not quite so sure why they didn't anticipate all those questions from the get-go. That was a huge miss, in my opinion, on AVID's part. It uh, doesn't make any sense, but here, here's basically the, the gist of it, all right? And so I'm going to use ultimate example because that's the one that I, I kind of know the most. So, um, so with ultimate example, if you have a lapse plan, again, before it was paying $9.99 to get it up to date, and then every year after that, you would pay $399, $400 a year to keep it up to date, like current and existing Pro Tools Ultimate users do. Okay, so they came out with a plan that was a much reduced cost, much less expensive to where you could get your lapse plan up to date to the most recent version of Pro Tools and have that for the next year. Okay, and so on the surface, that reduced cost was very compelling. It's like, okay, they're no longer charging us a thousand bucks. They're selling it to us. And I want to think it was like $400 or $300 or something like that. It wasn't that much money and charge us that and, and let us get back up to date. And, and my first thought was, wow, I was getting it. This is actually a good deal. Okay, because it's even less expensive for, for, uh, for native users. So I thought, wow, okay, this is a step in the right, right, you know, right way forward. Every other DAW manufacturer allows you, if you, if you skip going from one version to next to pay a little bit more as you'd expect, you know, to get to the most recent version and say, okay, this is a great step forward. So then everybody was asking the question, okay, at the end of that year, what happens then? Okay, and an example of ultimate, like I said, every year, if you're an ultimate user, you pay $399 every year for the next year to stay up to date with Pro Tools. Any updates they come out with, new features they come out with, any of those things that happen over the next course of the year, that $399 that you pay for the next year, that gets you up to date, and you do that every year. And so a lot of people were thinking, okay, well, if I do this now, at the end of next year, I can just pay $3.99 a year and keep going and keep going and keep going as if I never let my plan lapse. And I think a lot of people were initially intrigued by that, both native users as well as ultimate users. But then there was some clarification. Avid now comes back and says, well, no, that's not how it works. At the end of that year, okay, you have two choices. One choice is to convert that plan to a subscription plan and the Pro Tools ultimate example is like six or seven hundred dollars. I think no, it's either six ninety nine or seven ninety nine a year. Okay, it's a lot of money. Okay, and and you either pay that every year going forward, not four ninety nine, but the higher cost going forward every year. Okay, and so uh, most people that I know that are not on Avid subscriptions don't want to have anything to do with it. And I'm a big strong. I, I have want to have nothing to do with Avid's normal subscription plan. I, I will never, ever, ever get on that. I will never have anything to do with it. I will leave Avid before I ever consider that. And that is my advice to all of you. I do not recommend anybody go on Avid subscription plan, okay? Unless you happen to be a business, you can write it off and those types of things. But to me, it makes no sense. If the rest of the industry within the DAW manufacturers were doing the same thing, it would make more sense, but they don't. And so you can simply go to another DAW and not have to do that. So you've got to make that decision for you. That's just my personal opinion. Take that for what it's worth. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to disagree with it. You just have to take it for what it is. Okay. So you either go to subscription or you go back to where you were before you started. Okay. Which in my case would go back to the 2019 version. So so you've got to decide whether that makes sense for you. You know, um, it was very disappointing, you know, because I'd had some recent conversations with Avid and I was encouraged by them. Um, and I really thought that, you know, that we were heading the right track and, 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 and this was very confusing and it's hard to understand and hard not to anticipate all these obvious questions. Okay. Um, you know, those that don't know any better, it sure feels like, now I'm not saying it is, but it sure feels like 
This is just another way to hook you into getting subscriptions. You get on the new plan, let's get you all excited about these new features. You get used to all of these in your workflow and you don't want to give them up. So then you have no choice but to pay that higher annual fee, go sub subscription. And then once you go to that, if you don't keep paying that, you lose it forever, ever, ever. Yes, you still own your, your perpetual license. They can never take that away. So you can always go back to that. So understand that too, okay? But, but why not, if, if, if that's the case, why not just go subscription right out of the gate? Why, why hadn't you already gone subscription already if that were the case? And so I can tell by the comments in the forum, I recommend that you guys go to the DUC. You don't, you don't have to be a logged in user there. You can read all the comments, go to the thread, see for yourself, see what people have to say. I, I couldn't find a single person on there as of this filming that thought that it was a good idea. As if anything, everybody basically said, just forget this ever happened and don't worry about it. Don't waste your time. Now that's the perception. And that's even a couple of moderators on their, on their uh, DUC. So um, I, I'm pretty sure at least one of them was a moderator. I'm 90% sure. Okay. But that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Moderators aren't, they don't work for Avid. You know, they're people just like you and me and they have opinions that they can share freely just like you and me. They don't have to, they don't have to be the talking mouth of Avid. So understand that. Um, but, but obviously the only reason I say that is because those people are heavily committed to Pro Tools, kind of like me, I, I am. And so, again, for me, this was another disappointing move. Uh, Evan, I'm sorry you did this. You shouldn't have done it. It was a big mistake as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, you should have been forthright right out of the gate. And, and I'll be honest with you, this was all common sense. If you, did, if, if you guys honestly didn't anticipate these questions, um, th that, that's pretty disconcerting to say the least. Okay. Disconcerting to say the least. You should have thought that through. So if you like the things I talk about on this channel, hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, uh, put your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about my opinion, uh, one way or the other. Um, but until next time, I hope every one of you have a great day.